hey what's up youtube how's everybody doing so today we're going to be working on a wireless remote for a crv 2007 okay by honda so as you guys can see we opened up our wireless remote right here we have our circuit board and as you can see on the circuit board it has an nxp transponder okay this nxp transponder is to copy 46 and 47 chips okay if you guys look over here we have the, the original key that's programmed to the vehicle we went and we took out the, the circuit board as well and as you guys can see it also has a transponder soldered on there you guys okay so basically for these models and these vehicles you guys where the transponder is soldered on when you guys program the key the remote portion okay the fob is going to automatically program so there is no onboard programming for these vehicles okay you guys keep that in mind okay All right, you guys so the wireless remote is not to be confused with the super remote you guys okay so the super remote has the super chip soldered on there okay you guys so that means you're you're able to do more vehicles okay than what the nxp can can generate like i said the nxp transponder that's soldered on the wireless remote not the super remote the wireless one you can only do transponders 46 and 47 okay honda Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and generate our wireless remote. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to vehicle list. Okay, from, from the Keto Max main menu. And then we're going to go to Honda. We're going to go to Honda. Okay, we're going to look for CRV. Okay. If it doesn't have the CRV, we're gonna look by the FCC ID, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go to CRV. So we're at, we're at CRV, okay? And then we're gonna look for the older type, okay? Okay, you guys and this is the key that we're actually looking for okay if you look at your original key the fcc is right there on it mlb hlik mlb hlik okay one t as you guys can see it says one t okay so just to confirm look at the original key and make sure that it's on there and then we're going to select this one okay as you guys can see 2007 to 13 okay crv so we're gonna go ahead and select this one okay we're gonna get our wireless remote now make sure that the wireless remote has a battery in there okay if it doesn't have a battery in here it's not gonna work this is not where the wire remote how the wire remotes are remember the wire remotes we have to do through this or these the wireless ones we have to just put it inside the coil okay and make sure it reads it so we're gonna go ahead and generate remote it's detecting it right now It's generating it now. It tells you down there to use the transponder remote with the NXP chip. Where it says matching method, please use wireless remote with NXP transponder. So like I said, this one has an NXP, so we're gonna put complete. Okay. So our rem remote is now generated, okay? Our transponder chip is generated. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this key with the uh, Keto Max and the uh, Dolphin. Okay, XP005. So we're gonna go back. Then we're going to go to the Dolphin. As you guys can see. Okay, make sure that you're connected. So just go ahead and turn these off and turn them back on. And then we're gonna connect. Your machine over here to say ready okay so we're gonna so you guys when you guys are, are are decoding the key you never go to universal key duplication okay do not go to universal key duplication you only go to universal key duplication when you don't find the vehicle on here okay but i never recommend you doing a universal duplication only when you have a key that you don't even know what kind of vehicle it is 
okay? So we're gonna go to Honda, we're gonna go to Aki Blank, okay? The one that I use the most is the HON66, okay? This is the one that I use the most, you guys. Okay? So we need to use the clamp A, okay? We're gonna put our original key in clamp A all the way at the tip, okay? So as you guys can see, we have it on A. can see we aligned it back here i ended up using this little thing that came with the machine okay to measure the key and i just measure it from the tip we're gonna press okay some people say that's 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 useless but I, I i like to be precise so we're gonna go ahead and decode the key yes we have everything correct i heard that some of you guys break your probes um i never broke a probe I went in, before I started using the machine, I actually went and calibrated it. You calibrate it, the high adjustment, the cutting, okay? So there's like three type of uh, calibration that you do to the machine before you start using it. Okay, we're almost done decoding this key. So you guys can see it's ready already and it's done the coating. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put our new key in here. Okay, and then we're gonna press cut key, okay? As you guys can see we place our new key on there, okay? And then we're gonna press cutting key. It's telling us to, uh, if we have it on clamp A, yes we do. Now it always recommends you guys cut it with the 1.5 bidding, but I, I have the 2.5 on my machine, okay? So this is what I do. When I ask for the, when I ask for the 1.5, I just go ahead and I press cut anyways, okay? Sometimes you guys might need to remove this little plastic because it's in the way. So if you guys have to remove this plastic, go ahead and remove this plastic. Because it'll hit when it's measuring, you know. So try out the key both ways on the door and the ignition, okay? Before you actually try to program the key. Perfect, so the ignition switch turns on. As you guys see, it's not gonna turn on because the mobilizer light is flashing. Okay, so we're gonna have to program it. So let's go ahead, grab the mini OBD tool and put it in the OBD. Okay, you guys, so we already plugged in our mini OBD tool to the OBD. We have our max key tool. Okay, we're already connected with Bluetooth, okay? So make sure that before you start, you connect with Bluetooth first, okay? It would help it if you have Wi-Fi or hotspot and to do this fast, this process faster, okay? All right, so we're ready to connect our mini OBD2 via Bluetooth, so we're gonna go to IMMO programming. We're gonna go to Honda. We're gonna go to CRV. We're gonna go to IMMO system 2007 and up. Then we're gonna start execution. So as you guys can see, it's loading. Now, if you guys are doing all keys lost, you would select all keys lost, but we're gonna go ahead and just add a key. So it's gonna be the first one. Enter the program key, switch ignition on. Okay, so we have our ignition on. More program key, we're gonna press okay. Connecting, please wait. Turn ignition off. We're turning ignition off. Turn on the switch, okay. If no response, within 10 seconds, please turn off. Okay, so it says turn off the switch now again. Okay, so just follow instructions. Enter the new key and switch ignition to on within 15 seconds. We have our new key. Okay. Turn off ignition switch. Okay. Switch ignition on. Okay, so switch, switch it on, but don't turn it on. 
Turn it off. Okay. Switch ignition on one more time. But don't turn on the car. As you guys can see, the mobilizer light turned off already. Weather indicator light is out. Yes, it's out. So we're going to press yes. Turn ignition off. Okay, so we're going to turn it off. Switch on. Okay. Success. So as you guys can see, we successfully programmed our key. Our mobilizer light is off, okay? So now we can just get out of this, okay? It's going to beep to tell you that, that your mini OBD2 is still in there. Okay, we're going to press OK. And then we're just going to get our mini OBD2 out of there. We're going to turn on our car first, see if it turns on. Perfect. So our vehicle started up nice and perfect, you guys, okay? As you guys can see, sorry about the loud noise, you guys. I'm on the industrial side of this. So we're going to go ahead and try the locks out, make sure they work. Lock. Unlock. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome, you guys. So as you guys can see, we successfully generated and programmed our wireless remote with the NXP chip for 46 and 47. Okay, even our remote works. Okay. And that was, everything was with our, with our Max Key tool. Okay, and our mini OBD, and don't forget our dolphin. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video and you guys learned something off of it, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. If you guys wanna um, wanna know more about the Jiggler keys, uh, they are now for sale. Okay, you guys can email me to l i l r o x x zero zero one at yahoo.com. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.